Welcome to the Gentleman's Scholars Club. In today's video, we'll be talking about something a little bit different, a little bit unusual, and that is the Ring Jacket 10-month fabric. I recently picked up this TAJ02 sport coat from Ring Jacket, uh, the North American or European uh, website. And as I was reading the description of this, I saw that they describe it as a 10-month fabric, suitable for wear all year long, essentially. So don't usually see that. Usually you hear of three season fabrics, something that can be worn most of the year, but perhaps not in the hottest days of summer or not during the coldest days of winter. Um, brown is a tricky color to wear in the summer because it's dark. And if it's really sunny and hot out, it looks kind of unusual to wear dark brown or navy. On the other hand, this is a balloon wool. So it has kind of a waffle weave to it. And it's not really lined, right? It's, it's, it's got some lining. Uh, behind the shoulders and in the sleeves, but the rest of it is unlined. And so I was wondering as well if this sort of mesh-like appearance would be suitable for wearing with winter styles. So we'll give it a whirl today and put it to the test. We'll see how this so-called 10-month jacket stands up to different styles from each of the four seasons. So first of all, I have on a perhaps a spring outfit. Uh, it's got pink as a color in it, which gives kind of that pastel, uh, which is suitable for springtime. Um, greens, light greens, light blues, uh, lilacs, pinks, uh, those are suitable colors for a spring wardrobe. Um, think about Easter, right? What colors would you see during Easter? And uh, those would be appropriate for spring. So I think it stands up quite nicely to that. And brown is a particularly good color for spring because, as I said, once it gets really hot, it might look too dark for the height of summer. However, for springtime, it's a great color when you're in the transitional period between winter and summer. Right, so this brown goes with pink nicely. I've got on his trousers, uh, cavalry twill from Rhoda, and uh, the shirt is just uh, suit supply, a pocket square from Simono Godard, uh, the French pocket square maker. So I think that is a great combination for spring. Jacket certainly works, uh, especially for this transitional period of time. And you can check out one of my other videos to see a similar combination, also for springtime, uh, that I talk about in what I wore today and why. So continuing with the pink theme, we're now in the summertime. I've changed my shirt, though, to something in a linen, as you may be able to tell by the slight rumpling here. Got a small collar, kind of a casual look. Same pocket square to play off the pink. And got the jacket open as well instead of buttoning it up because it's hot out and it's summer. I think this works in terms of summertime look. I've got on white trousers. I'm not sure if, you could, sure if you can see them in the full vertical range of the camera, uh, but that's a great combination. It's sort of a light pink, muted pink striped shirt with white high rise trousers. Uh, and the brown. Brown goes nicely with pink, goes well with the sky blue, goes well with the gray. And those colors will also give you a good range of seasons. But as I said earlier, because of the balloon wool and because of the unlined nature of the jacket, uh, the mesh-like qualities of the balloon wool, this looks like it's perfectly appropriate for the summer. It is a bit dark in terms of being brown. I think the camera actually shows it darker than it is. It's kind of a mid to darker range of brown. It's not ultra dark. And so I think it would work fine for part of the summer, perhaps not in the height of August or late July if it's like 90 degrees outside Fahrenheit. Um, but you can wear it in other times, let's say if it's 70 degrees uh, in the 70s. Perfectly appropriate way of uh, pairing brown with a summer look. So, so far, so good. Two seasons out of two, I think the 10-month fabric is holding its own. So now we're into autumn, and a great thing about dark browns or brown jackets in general is that they pair nicely with denim or chambrays. Something like a denim shirt would be an ideal pairing for the autumn season. The darker color really stands up nicely against brown, blue and browns always being a great combination. Uh, this is sort of a denim. It's got a little more texture to it. Chambrays, lightweight ones, are good for the summer. But as you go into winter, you can have sort of that heavier weight textured denim as the season gets colder. Um, I'm also wearing trousers that are rusty brown. This goes with the typical colors of fall foliage as the leaves start to change. Right? So combining that with uh, darker brown, also perfect. Uh, this rust is essentially a mid-brown tone, and dark brown against the, the lighter brown or the mid-brown 
gives it that great contrast. I've also brought this outfit into the autumn by using a woolly pocket square. These are wool gauze. I've got two options here. The first one has some rust in it, so that will play off the trousers. You can also choose something like this, which is a sort of a denim blue and also in the wool. Put that there to play off the shirt. And again, you've got a nice outfit as the weather starts to change and get colder. So far, so good, Ring Jacket. You fulfill the 10-month promise so far as we enter the autumn. Now let's bring it full circle into the winter and see what we can do there. Last but not least, let's bring things around to the winter season. I'm wearing a really wintry outfit here with a merino wool turtleneck in cream, and I've also got on corduroys in a large whale corduroy from Bergenberg. And this kind of brings things back a little bit to the summer season when I had uh, white trousers on. also brings things back to the springtime when I had on uh, the beige cavalry twill. So wearing beige with brown, always a perfect combination. And wearing brown in the winter can be a way of brightening up the season, adding a little bit of warmth. Navy blues and grays tend to be cold colors, whereas brown usually tends to the warm side of the palette or the color wheel. And so I like to bring some browns into the winter time as well. Um, this looks like it fits, uh, looks like it fits the season quite well. Uh, the balloon wool has a certain texture to it, has a, that waffle weave, as I mentioned earlier. And in the wintertime, you usually want to wear textured garments like tweeds, right, or flannel, things that have that sort of hand feel to them. And the, the uh, balloon wool certainly has that. Doesn't appear to be too light either. Usually in the season, you'd wear those thicker flannels, but I think this stands up quite nicely to the, to the, uh, the idea of winter. And it also has that sort of sweatery vibe to it, again, with the texture and the overall fit of ring jacket. And so sweaters, of course, say wintertime, and that would be a perfect way of bringing this in to that season. So ring jacket, you fulfill the promise of a 10-month jacket, and I would venture to say even a 12-month. Share in the comments if you have other ideas on how to wear this jacket for any particular season. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to us at the Gentleman Scholars Club for more similar information on classic men's style.